Welcome, friends, to the Beaver Dam. Uh, I am re-recording this because I have new information. Also, I realized part of my recording uh, was corrupted and I couldn't hear any music. So I'm re-recording this. But big news, everyone. The Lightspeed bundles are back. It is true what is said above and in the, you know, in the little thumbnail. The Lightspeed bundles are back. They're here for gifting. They're here for, uh, you know, whatever we might want to do uh, if we want to purchase them ourselves. So they're both in the gifting section as well as purchasable, uh, which is very, very exciting that they're coming back. Now, the two packs that are back are Starkiller and the Shadows of the Empire Lightspeed Bundle. So these two bundles are awesome. Uh, the $50 is kind of a punch to the gut with the Starkiller Bundle. I get why it's $50. It's all Chirotech characters. I'll let me move myself over so you guys can take a look-see and see what I've got here. Uh, so honestly, all four of these characters are great. They're going to be usable on a Sith team, part of Starkiller's team, part of the Mon Moth and Rebel Fighters team, and then part of the Scoundrels, and be a good leader for your Scoundrels that you have lying around. And so, like, overall, great characters, painful to pay $50, but you can immediately jump in with this bundle and get yourself a Starkiller. And the Starkiller event's not too hard. It does require a little bit of good modding, but it's nothing like, you know, like the Aphra event or the Ray event. It's it's not too bad. So you should be able to get a uh, Starkiller up and going pretty quickly, especially because all you need is like relic five and, and one omicron and all of a sudden star killer can take down ray can do a lot of different good stuff now is it easier if you get more than that yes but like he can do most of what he needs to do with a singular omicron so this is a great bundle to supercharge your account right before 3v3 right before 5v5 next two months from now whatever you might want to justify it to yourself and say this is why i'm buying the star killer bundle you can 100 percent grab the star killer bundle and as arnold and i have both said this is one of the best peepees in the game it's one of the best passion projects uh you know everyone loves star killer you get four characters that are really fun out of it and you get one of the most fun teams to play in the game i love the Starkiller team. And also there's a Datacron that's coming out right now for Starkiller that is going to be absolutely busted. So, you know, they're definitely uh, doing like a hint, hint, nudge, nudge type of thing. Uh, but still $50. So we'll see if you're willing to spend the money. Uh, you know, it's up to you. I didn't spend the money. I farmed him normally and I actually had just finished him when the light speed bundles came out last time uh, for him. So like, I was like, oh, look at that. I saved $50. I'll take that. Uh, going into the other one, I think this is a no-brainer. Everyone should pick it up. $10 for the Shadows of the Empire Lightspeed Bundle. Now, you may look at this and say, look, crap, behold, garbage. But I say, behold, every character you don't want to farm in the Jedi Master Luke uh, guide. Like, if you're going through the Jedi Master Luke and you're like, dang, I really don't want to farm Lando. I really don't want to farm old Ben. I really don't want to farm uh, Princess Leia. You have them all right here. Uh, and on top of that, you're getting Phoenix, which is a, you know, a meta ready team. All you got to throw in is Krex, even at low gear, and you're getting a huge value out of this. So I definitely think this is something that's a no brainer to pick up. It also gives you the ships that you need to do the Jedi Knight Luke event, as well as to start off your rebel fleet with some seven star ships. So you can add in a Millennium Falcon, add in a uh, rebel Y wing, and you have a solid fleet sitting here. So like you're, you know, and buying these two bundles together, is like a JML profundity super charge because you go into Jedi Master Luke, you have all the garbage characters, you're finishing Jedi Knight Luke, you have basically everything you need to go into Jedi Master Luke. Speaking of which, I will be putting out a guide for the Jedi Master Luke event tomorrow. Uh, here's the secret. You don't need good mods at all. Like, at all. It's so great. It's such an easy event. Um, but yeah, that is coming as well as uh, with Profundity, you're getting the Relic Hera done. You'll also, with the Starkiller Bundle, get the Relic Dash Rendar. And so you're already getting, like, a, a hint of going towards Profundity as well. So these will actually be good for multiple reasons. You get a meta-ready uh, a meta-ready meta -ready, um, team with Star Killer because you already have probably an Emperor Palpatine lying around somewhere. You get Star Killer, you get Mara Jade from the pack. Then you're getting Old Ben from this to throw on that team. All you need is a light side Ufu, and you're good to go taking down GLs. And then on this one, you also get a Meta Ready Phoenix team, a solid fleet you can throw on defense, and a start towards a lot of good things. So overall, I think the ten dollars for this one is by far worth it. It's one of the most worth it light speed bundles out there, um, and. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's 
exciting to see these things coming back. Now, are there more to come? Here is the question. Are there more to come? I think yes. Yes, there are more to come. Uh, give, give it some time. Give it a solid 5, 10, 15 uh, minutes. It's not going to be 5, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it's probably going to be longer than that. Uh, but coming up is the anniversary of the game. The 25th of November is the anniversary. So I'm going to guess we're going to get all of the old Lightspeed bundles as time goes on between now and November 25th, leading up to a new Lightspeed bundle at the uh, during that end of the month area where the actual anniversary of the game, the nine-year anniversary of the game happens. So keep an eye out. I'd love to hear what you guys think, what you guys think of the next Lightspeed bundle will come out. Throw in the comments, which one do you think two more are going to come out next week? We're going to get like each week's uh, get like, like a couple light speed bundles. Uh, I'm curious to see what CG will do. Uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, I still don't understand the whole gifting system and why it's here. Like it's cool, but it would only be cool for me if you could do it cross, you know, cross guild. If I could send this to my friend that's in a different guild, I would love this. Now, can, if I was to send it to someone in my guild, I don't know most of the people in my guild personally, and so it makes it problematic to trust anyone if you're trying to, like, you know, gift across when they do the whole gifting Lightspeed bundle thing, uh, which is initially what I thought and why I posted a video already, but I just had checked on my main account and didn't see it, and I was like, oh, I own both of them on my main account. That's right. And so hence the reason that I am re-recording this video but i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this i'm excited for the old lightspeed bundles come back i'm glad that the shadows of the empire lightspeed bundle this is a big source of like are they going to do this of are they going to make it more than ten dollars uh and they didn't which is nice uh they aren't upping the prices of the old lightspeed bundles and i really appreciate about that but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video